Hello again. This video is an apology for that awful footage I made a few days ago in which I tried to show you the repair I made on a smelly, smoky microcomputer Model B, the BBC Model B microcomputer system. Um, it was a terrible video. It, it didn't show you in any way how the repair was carried out and it, I also used a, a, a botched up component which wasn't the correct one. Um, I don't like doing things incorrectly. This is, a sh this is a shorter video and it shows how to do it properly and it will show how to repair that power supply. This time I've gone online and I ordered um, from coolnovelties.co.uk uh, a repair kit. <clears throat> the uh, repair kit comes as a pack. Um, it comes with everything you need including the instruction booklet. Um, and you can order various sets of capacitors. I've only chosen to repair to replace um, three capacitors on this, not all of them, and not the uh, one electrolytic and two mica capacitors. And as I say, when you can get it out of the bag, it comes complete with them um, with the with the capacitors that you need, and it even comes with cable ties that you need. So there are the three capacitors. There's an instruction manual, would you believe, uh, on how to repair the BBC. And uh, so this video is just going to show you how I take the power supply out and how I use this kit to repair it properly. Thank you for your patience in watching this. I promise I won't um, <laughs> extend it too much, but I'd like to show you how this repair is carried out. So let's get started. I do recommend this excellent repair kit. I'll give you details of it later. It comes with a fully illustrated instruction manual of identifying the components and how to fit each one. With the top removed, identify the power supply in the top left hand corner in the metal case with some warnings plastered on it. Please heed these. Before removing the power supply, you have to disconnect uh, the power connectors from the main PCB. Um, I recommend photographing them first, uh, but they are very clearly labelled. Before you can remove the power supply printed circuit board from its metal case, you need to remove the auxiliary power supply socket from the rear by depressing the tabs on the top. This can be a bit fiddly. Next you need to remove the power on-off switch from the rear of the power supply. Uh, this can be a little bit of a struggle. You also have to remove the power supply and mains connecting cables and uh, tie clips. Next, remove the three retaining screws holding the PCB into its metal case. Once this is done, the PCB can be slid from the case. This view shows the main culprit for the smell and smoke. Uh, the capacitor just underneath the power transistor and you can see the side is bulging and split. Not good. This is another view of the um, defective capacitor and you can see the large split down the side of it. Next you need to open your packet of replacement capacitors. I'm replacing all three. Um, the electrolytic because it's close to the power transistor and may dry out and the two mica capacitors. This shot shows all three capacitors fitted um, and uh, the PCB now ready to reassemble into the power supply case. Once that's done, reassemble the power supply, put it back into the uh, main computer case and you're ready to reassemble and test and all should be well. Well that's the um, machine now working perfectly. It's been on now a couple of hours and I've been doing a little bit of programming with it, just some basic stuff and uh, it seems to be working out pretty fine. It's not getting hot, it's warm, well they will get warm, but all thanks really to this um, kit from, um, which I was going to tell you about, from uh, coolnovelties.co.uk um, and as I said it comes with a complete instructions of how to change the capacitors. Um, 
computers are not really my forte, um, so uh, I'm much happier with, with uh, retro radios and, and hi-fi equipment. But um, I found this quite interesting, and uh, there's loads and loads of videos online uh, and on YouTube about repairing the Model B um, by people far more um, advanced and, uh, and far cleverer than I am. Um, but this was just a basic one uh, because it's my first introduction to it. I've always wanted to own one um, and could never afford it in the day because in the day this was £300 which is equivalent today to about £1,650. Um, so £1,650 in 1981-82 was just out of my league. But um, now I've got one, I'm going to play with it, I'm going to have some fun. Hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please give me a like. If not, ignore. And as always, please take care.